Hello folks, we all know that Samsung will release the Galaxy S24 series early next year, but the rumors have started coming out already, and the latest rumor points to a potential change in direction for Samsung. The rumor is coming from a renowned tipster Revagnos, and they have shared that the base variant of the Galaxy S24 will be using the same GN3 50 megapixel sensor found on the Galaxy S23. The tip also suggests that Samsung might end up killing the Plus model, giving us the base and the Ultra variant. This is something that we have heard before too, and it makes sense, because ever since the Galaxy S21 series, Samsung is not really adding anything significant in the Plus variant to make it a better deal. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, will be using the same HP2 sensor, but we can hope for some other improvements on the software front. It also makes sense, because the HP2 as it is happens to be a very capable sensor, so it's not a reason for the company to get rid of it. Sadly, at the moment, we cannot confirm what Samsung plans on doing with the Galaxy S24 series, but it seems like we will see some shift in the zoom camera department at least for the Ultra variant. Unfortunately, the base variant won't get any optical upgrades. Don't get me wrong, the Gen 3 sensor is not bad, but it will start feeling dated by next year. As for the Galaxy S24 Plus, fate still hangs in the balance because there have been rumors about the Plus series being cancelled, which also makes sense from a business perspective, but as it stands, we cannot confirm what will happen. You will start hearing more about the the Galaxy S24 series as we approach next year, or at least after the next Galaxy Unpacked wraps up. Till then, stay tuned for more information on the new devices. Last month, we found out that Samsung is developing an in-house GPU and that it will be based on AMD's RDNA architecture. A couple of weeks later, the tipster also revealed that this GPU will be used in Samsung's upcoming flagship chipset, the Exynos 2500, which will be used in the Galaxy S25. Well, Samsung seems to be speeding up the in-house GPU development as the latest news from China claims that the company has hired Zhao Yang, an acclaimed expert in developing GPUs. In the past, Zhao Yang worked with Huawei to set up the GPU development team at the company. He also worked with Alibaba Demo Academy to develop Hankuang 800, which according to the firm is the world's most powerful AI interface chip. Before joining Samsung, he managed the development of AI chips at Li Auto, a China-based electric vehicle brand. At Samsung, Yang will reportedly be responsible for creating teams for the development of its in-house GPU as well as planning the project. Samsung also seems to be in contact with Zhao Guafang, who is the co-founder of Beerin Technology. Guafang was in charge of creating Qualcomm Snapdragon team and was responsible for developing five generations of the Arduino GPU architecture. Considering that Samsung has already hired one of the best GPU development experts in the industry and is looking to hire another, the company seems serious about getting its in-house GPU ready in time for the Galaxy S25. Previous reports have claimed that Samsung wants to create a flagship in-house processor that is optimized for high-end Galaxy smartphones and tablets. For the Galaxy S23 and Galaxy S24, though, the company decided to exclusively use Qualcomm Snapdragon chips. In 2025, we could see the return of Exynos chip or maybe a new branding to Galaxy S series phones. Recently, the company extended its partnership with AMD to use its Radeon GPU technologies in future Exynos chips. It all sounds like a threat, but let's see. Maybe attempt number 70 will be successful with Exynos. It's just a pity that, as usual, we will be experimental subjects. But as always, we believe in the best. And also, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Good luck to all.